Baking a cake isn't as simple as it seems. There's a whole explanation with science behind it. For this explanation, I will be focusing on two parts of the cake that have a chemical reaction when baking. First is baking powder. Baking powder's chemical equation is basically baking powder when mixed with water turns into sodium plus water plus carbon dioxide. The product of this is sodium ions, water, carbon dioxide, gas. The result of this is baking powder is combined with water and this creates a chemical reaction that releases carbon dioxide gas which produces air bubbles in the cake and makes it rise. The next one is sugar. Sugar's chemical equation is sucrose when mixed with heat turns into sucrose. The product of this is just sugar, which is the same thing as it originally was, but it does brown, making it a chemical reaction. At 350 degrees Fahrenheit, sugar undergoes the Maillard reaction between amino acids and proteins in the sugar and creates browning. All molecules have elements that make them up. Baking powder has sodium, hydrogen, carbon, and oxygen. H2O has hydrogen and oxygen. Sucrose has carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, and carbon dioxide has carbon and oxygen. There are two chemical reactions that occur when dealing with heat. One is exothermic, which is the heat being produced, and the other is endothermic, which is when heat goes into the product. Endothermic is the one that occurs when baking a cake. What happens when the cake is being baked is due to the heat being applied to the atoms in such a way that causes them to recombine and create new molecules, and that is the chemistry of cake.